ます。Yeah, I can hold us up. Okay. Hello, everyone.、Uh, my name is Odd Algren.、Uh, I'm the director of narrative content for Avalanche Studios. We developed the、uh, Mad Max game together with Warner Brothers. And、um, ask me, ask me what you want to know, man. We have、uh, consulted early on with、uh, George、uh, Miller. To、uh, to find out everything, they really pick his brain about the lore of this almost kind of like a reboot of the、uh, Mad Max world from the in comparison to the old movies. But it's fantastic to be able to, to be able to sit for so long and have a conversation over a table, you know, and、uh, get access to a, a, a guy like that. And we really try to learn as much as humanly possible. Then, and he laid down the bare bones of the story. For us as well, and then after that, after that, we we ran with that and try to create a、uh, a free roaming, 50 plus hour action adventure game full of car combat and melee combat and exploration and interaction and all of that, and、uh, it's just a huge huge wasteland experience that we try to create out of that. We yeah we put a lot of effort into、uh, into getting the physics right, so it really feels like、uh, like. Like, like the, it has the heft and the weight of an actual car,、uh, that、yeah. kind of thing. And, and also, you have a, a almost unlimited upgrade paths for that will suit your own driving style. If you want a big ass Ram in the front, it's going to weigh you down a little bit. So then you're going to need a different type of suspension or tires, and maybe better torque in the engine, and all of that plays together for you. And it suits you well. If you're a fast driver, you want something light and. And, and vicious, you know. But if you're more of a rammer, slugger kind of guy, you want a you want a car with 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 more heft to it.、Uh, Mad Max to me,、uh, having grown up with the character and,、uh, and and stuff like that,、uh, he is、uh, like a mythological character almost. Yeah. And he is he has his personal loop, which he follows, like mythological characters do. So. I mean, when we first started the project, of course we drew from the old movies. But when we started analyzing them, we found that there were there were themes that were recurring, and so we, we really, really wanted to try to do something with that. And then,、uh, it, as it turned out, then when we、uh, spoke to George Miller, that was pretty much this, the right way to go. That the lone wanderer who has there is really no possibility for him to、uh, have a lengthy relationship with another human. Because that human will sooner or later die, and he kind of knows that <laughs> deep down. And、uh, it's it's a very very painful place to be in if 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 you travel like him across a wasteland and you carry wasteland inside of you. You always want to stay mobile. And、uh, in in our case, we start off with with a Mad Max. He's actually a mad man at the beginning of the game, and he's running away from everything that is his tortured past. The ghosts of his wife and child, and the、uh, friends, and、uh, a civilized civilization is just screaming out in anguish inside of him, and he has to keep mobile in order to to survive. But he can't just lay down and die because he has his like his training and stuff, which has taught him to survive in a harsh environment. So he it's like muscle memory to him, a second nature. So even though he's a mad guy, he can't stop surviving. So he has to move instead. And then he uses his、uh, black on black, his the iconic interceptor from the old movies, to do that. That's his armor, really. And、um, he travels to wasteland. And at the beginning of the game, he loses that to a、uh, a warlord character called Scrotus, which we have,、uh, which then becomes his nemesis, his arch enemy, and、uh, who has this who has this part of the wasteland in his in his in his grip, so to speak.、Uh, and uh, he is.、Uh, He's part of the wasteland lore. I can tell you that much. Yeah. So、uh, he has. He, there is.、Uh, there are some kind of connections. <laughs> We're in a situation making video games. No, nothing that we ever do, we is tangible. We can't touch anything of that, you know. But we、uh, we have people like our sound designers and our and our、uh, also car designers and and our weapon designs and and armor designs and stuff like that. Most of it has been done from the.、Uh, The pers perspective that it's not just made-up stuff. You know, we've taken this, we played around with these rusty pieces of metal, and like, can you actually make a weapon out of this? Can you actually make a car out of these kinds of things? And how would it work? And how would it sound, especially? 
Uh, so we, we put a lot of effort into it, make being uh, uh, an authentic, authentic to the wasteland, the world of the wasteland, so to speak. Well, I just want want people to play it. I want everyone, I want every boy and girl, <laughs> to sit down and play this game and, and enjoy the hell out of it because uh, we enjoyed making it. And it's been a lot of blood and sweat and tears, but it's also been a lot of uh, laughter and uh, just a little bit of extra blood. <laughs> and reclaim the life they stole. You will survive. Because you are Max.